Hey everyone, it's Audrey, and I thought I would put together a workspace tour. I know I've done a few apartment and room tours in the past, but I kind of glossed over the details when I did my apartment makeover, so this will be an in-depth video of how I decorated this space, where some of the furniture and decor is from, stuff like that. So let's get started. If you watched my older apartment tour, I used to have my workspace in this little nook area where my bed is now. This setup is just the same setup I've had for years. I wanted something new and this nook is a pretty dark area in the room, so I figured it would just make more sense to switch and move my workspace to the window instead, uh, since I did find my sleep disrupted more often when I was sleeping here. I don't really have a view in my apartment, but when the sunlight comes through the windows in the morning, uh, I just feel happier, more productive. I can't really explain it. I installed these rolling blinds I found at the hardware store. I'll go ahead and link them. I also find light coming through the blinds to be very beautiful. It's my favorite time of day. I don't like the thought of blocking any light coming into the apartment, but I do like the look of curtains, so I also draped a curtain scarf around the frame of the window. The old desk I had was a DIY made from pallets and concrete blocks from the local hardware store. And honestly, I did this a long, long time ago because I couldn't afford one with the particular look I wanted. And as the years went by, I just kind of kept it like this because I thought it was cool. It wasn't the most comfortable though over long periods of time, so I replaced it with this one from World Market. I'll try to link it or something similar in the description since I bought it a while ago. It's a wooden desk with a beige driftwood type of finish and the metal legs are like a matte gold color. So I kept this color scheme in mind while decorating. Since I had a lot of concrete blocks left over, I just kept them so I could use them as storage for my books notebooks, little knickknacks from traveling, gifts I've gotten like candles and seashells and this nameplate made out of dried flowers. Just a bunch of stuff that reminds me of different times in my life. I'm very sentimental and I hold on to everything. I also like using the concrete blocks as plant stands and I'm always moving my house plants over here to get some light. When I'm not working, I do use this area as a vanity space as well. And I have this tri-fold mirror on top that I found at my local antique store. It has a gold frame and the back of it has this intricate silver floral design. Almost reminds me of brocade. Um, I believe I paid $60 for this. Continuing with the gold theme, I also found this double-sided vanity mirror at an antique store. I want to say this was $30, probably one of my favorite finds this year. I love the decorative details along the frame and at the base. To the left of that, I have my coffee plant, and this one's new. I think I've had it for a month now, and I thought it looked good on top of a couple of these cute gift books I picked up at the bookstore. Long time ago. To the right of my mirror is this gold desk organizer I found at World Market. I keep all my writing utensils and office supplies in here, as well as makeup brushes and tools, some of the rings that I wear on a regular basis. The drawer underneath this is also where I keep my makeup, uh, some hair accessories, my glasses, uh, just my most used grooming items and beauty essentials. On both corners of my desk, I do have matching lamps for any nighttime work, and these are from Ikea. 
really inexpensive, but I liked the look of it. It felt very elevated with the brass finish and the pull switch. So on the left side, I just have some more decor, a glass bottle with dried flowers, the wooden tissue box holder as an old thrift find, as well as the mirror tray that sits in front of it. I found this at the Long Beach Antique Market years ago, and I've always used it to just display some of my favorite things at the moment. I have some teal marble coasters I thrifted, a novelty candle from a local boutique, some perfume oil from the brand Wild and Woman that I never wear, but I love the packaging, my plant mister that I got from Target, a matchbook from an old coffee shop I got for a dollar at the flea market, and then I have a few crystals here as well. A smoky quartz crystal point, a venturine crystal point, and two selenite wands. I got all four of these at a local boutique in Long Beach as well. The drawer underneath this is just where I keep all of my jewelry now. I put a marble tray in the drawer and then I have all my pieces resting on top of it. It does a pretty good job of just staying put. If you saw my old setup, it was different than this. Uh, but I feel like my taste has changed over time. I downsized and now I only really wear these earrings, rings, and necklaces. A lot of these are thrifted or gifts, but let me know if you're interested in a collection video. I already showed this in the intro, but the middle drawer is where I keep my day planner, uh, headphones, laptop, electronic cords and things, nothing crazy. And below my desk, I have a gold wastebasket from Target in one corner, and a bed from my cat from the brand Cat Person. I keep this here so my cat doesn't sit in my chair, um, and I found this chair at a vintage home decor shop that's local to me. I paid close to 150 for it, but I think it was worth every penny because it is extremely comfortable. I didn't want a standard office chair, so this rolling lounging chair was perfect. I just have to fight my cat for it, and the teal area rug is from Ikea. I thought it went well with the powder blue color of my chair. Lastly, the plant wall. I've already talked about this in my plant tour and shared the DIY for it in my apartment makeover, so there's not much left to say about it really. I will say that working near my plants definitely puts me in a better mood though. It's just my little indoor jungle. So that is going to be it for the video. I'll try to link as many items as I can if you're interested in buying them, uh, but let me know if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.